Hello, happy Monday. Welcome to TV Guide Live. I'm Mickey O'Connor, and with me today I have my colleagues Joyce Ang and Sadie Guinness. How are you guys doing? Good. Thanks for being here. Today we're going to talk about Thomas Gibson, who has been fired from Criminal Minds after an altercation with the producer. We happened to be in Los Angeles last week for the TCAs, and at least one of us, Joyce, um, has a pretty interesting perspective on how it all went down. We're also going to talk about Gibson's legacy for the show and how it might change things going forward. In the meantime, though, if you have any questions for us, please send them now to at TV Guide on Twitter with the hashtag TVG Live or on Facebook in the comments below, and we'll answer them at the end of the show. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. So we were in L.A. last week on Thursday, I think, when news broke that Thomas Gibson had been suspended, and then the following day we found out he had been fired. But days before that, Joyce, you were you went on set, right? Yeah, I was on, on set. On the first? Yeah, was that what it was? two weeks ago So today. tell us what it was like there that day. Um, it was a very busy day. Um, they were actually backed up shooting this one scene, and it was the final day of production on episode two, which is now going to be his final episode of the series. He was Gibson was directing that episode, No, right? he wasn't. Was... I, I think, I believe he was directing the first episode, oh, okay. um, which so is when the altercation occurred. Um, but this was episode two, and they I did not um, get to speak with him because they were just so behind the whole day. Yeah. But no one gave any indication that anything was amiss. Like, everyone, I talked to a lot of behind-the-scenes people yeah. and Erica Messer, the showrunner, producer, right. and some actors, and, you know, everything was, like, A-OK, -okay, you know? I mean, you could just say that, you know, obviously no one wanted that to get out. Right. But um, Erica talked a lot about, like, you know, Hotch's storylines for the season. So I think everyone was expecting for him to come back after the suspension. But so they, did, they, were, they didn't say that he was suspended at that point, right? No, they but like he kinda... was, he was, he wasn't supposed to be in episode three, but yeah. like, you know, he, he's been missing from episodes before just right. because, you it's know, like... part of the DNA of the show. Yeah, and like as the show gets older to go into season 12, like some actors negotiate as part of the contract. So fewer to, like, episodes. Yeah, and... you know, but that's but nothing so, new. But so, just to be clear, he was, he was in that episode or he wasn't? He wasn't appearing he, in that episode. In episode in, two, yeah, he is he is in that episode, and he directed that episode. No, I don't. I don't think he directed. He directed <laughs> episode one, but like he's he no longer. Sorry. he didn't finish directing that episode after he was suspended. Okay, because all right. So then, all right. So then, you were there during episode. The last day of episode two. Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Live TV. Um, so yeah. Okay. So then. Um, so then, right after that, we found out he'd been suspended. We found out that um, he'd been fired, and. ABC and CBS, ABC Studios and CBS, the network, gave a statement that was pretty curt, right? So it just says, Thomas Gibson has been dismissed from Criminal Minds. Creative details for how the character's exit will be addressed in the show will be announced at a later date. That's pretty cold, right? I mean, after how many years? He's 12 years? This is the 12th season, this upcoming season. So what, so what did you think of that? Um, I, I, th I think, like, they had to do it because it came out and, like, he's had prior right. marks on his record. You know, he had another altercation six years ago with a producer. Right. And then he had a DUI a couple years ago. So this was, like, the third strike, you know? Yeah. And I kind of feel like if this hadn't broke, like, he would have stayed with the show. Just based on everything um, from talking with people on the show, like, they had storylines for Hodge planned out this season. Right. So now they have to rejigger everything. So, and it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like at some point, you know, as employers, like, yeah, their hand, I don't, their I don't hands blame ABC tied, Studios but, at all for firing him, but I think like they were just like on the hot seat at yeah. that point to do it. Yeah, I think that the suspension was all about sort of like having a little more time to think yeah. about it and whatever. And when it broke, I think that that's when, you know, they had to make a decision. Um, so then Gibson himself gave a statement in which he said, I love Criminal Minds and have put my heart and soul into it for the last 12 years. I'd hope to see it through to the end, but that won't be possible now. I'd just like to say thank you to the writers, producers, actors, our amazing crew, most importantly, the best fans of the show could ever hope to have. Um, shortly thereafter, he hired a lawyer, and it's possible now that he's going to sue the show for, for I guess, I don't know. Um, wrongful termination. Wrongful termination or something. Um, but um, anyhow, so the other thing that you noticed about your... That your visit to the set is that there was some there was a return that was going to be happening, right? Well, we already know um, Padgett Brewster is coming back. She's right. uh, recurring in at least six episodes this season, and her first episode back is the third episode, which is the first episode that Thomas Gibson was going to be missing from. That was his first suspended right. episode. Right. Right. So, what do you think it means now that Thomas like, Gibson's not coming back? I mean, you know, they they already lost an original cast member last season, Shamar Moore. So now they're losing two in one calendar year. Yeah. 
and Adam Rodriguez is the new Shamar, you know, he's replacing him. Yeah. So now they're going to be down to fan favorites. Um, I don't think Paget will come back as a regular cast member. I Why think not? I think she's pretty happy with like the gig she has now. Yeah, you know, just and she could do whatever else she wants like on the side. She yeah. does like another period. She might do like more pilots, you know, grandfather was canceled. Yeah. So she has like the only reason she could come back for so many episodes this year is cuz grandfather was canceled. Yeah. So. so speaking of Shamar, Sadie, Shamar took to Instagram, right? I love this video. <laughs> <laughs> so he he had a video um, and I forget what I forget what the caption said below it. But what he says in the video is a lot of birdies chirping out there. The gossip is real. I hear it. I see it. I'm sure a lot of you do too. So I'll just say this. I believe in karma. So, you know, there's one theory, of course, that he's talking about this, that he's talking about Thomas Gibson leaving because they had had sort of the run-ins in the past, right? There was a lot of talk about... Well, the rumor, like, Shamar, like, he will admit himself, like, he was notoriously late, late. to set. Yeah. And apparently, according to reports, um, Thomas did not like that. Yeah, and Thomas actually lives in Texas, and so there's a, so yeah, in terms he has of a the, very tight schedule. his shooting schedule is very tight, and whatever. And um, so, but what? But you have another theory, right? Well, that video came out af after I believe the news broke that he had basically sued a guest star on right, Criminal Minds. Right, right. They became like best they friends. Became friends. Yeah, they were in an episode together, and they became like good friends and started a. This charity. is Shamar Moore, by the way, not. Yeah. Thomas Gibson, yeah. yeah. So, so. Uh, they started a charity called, like, Baby Girl LLC. Yeah. yeah. And this guy apparently stole, like, 60 grand mm -hmm. from... Shamar. Yeah, and so Shamar sued, and so... The day that this video came out, what he he the, the pled no contest? The actor Kevin Tisdale uh, pled, like, no contest, so, like, you know, Shamar won, basically. Yeah. yeah. So. So, so a lot of people are saying that maybe it's about that. Yeah, it's not about Thomas Gibson. I think that you know the the media pounced on it and thought like, oh wow, like it's just it. timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's kind of interesting. Uh, just a reminder: if you have any questions, uh, you can tweet us uh, at TV Guide with the hashtag TVG Live, or on Facebook.com uh, in the comments below. Um, so yeah, so okay, so what's um, so this is like kind of this is kind of not you know, uh, a new story, right? Because we've heard about Thomas Gibson before and, and bad behavior before. Yeah, like, you know, as we mentioned earlier, like, he's been in, you know, he's had an altercation before with the producer six years ago, and it was, it happened on an episode, like, he was directing to, so maybe it's, it's just him when he's directing episodes. Right, right. He, like, sh he like shoved yeah, like the producer. Yeah, according to reports. Um, and, you know, that was strike Directed. one, and another one was he had a DUI a couple years ago, right. and that was strike two, so... And so this this latest thing, it was a producer that he was trying to set up a shot or something like that, and he ended up kicking him? Yeah, according to reports, he kicked him, um, and uh, sources have told me that he reacted defensively because the writer, producer Virgil Williams, he's a trained like martial boxer artist, and, boxer, yeah. so he's like a big guy. And but I also heard from people that he like wears like a suit and bow tie on set. That doesn't mean he's that not a big guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think that kicking is the weirdest reaction to have. Yeah, like that's I not mean, something people usually do. Like, right. You like hit. Like kicking, right. I find. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, like, but also like you know, it's it's hilarious, but it's also serious. I mean, like yeah, when you're okay. in the workplace, you just don't hit people. You don't, you know, the, um, it's just kicking assault is like people the most in any way. Childish yeah. way. Yeah, it's like having a tantrum. Could, yes. Right, right. Yeah, kicking and screaming. Um, so yeah, so it's so you know, I think that um, you know, a lot of people are looking at this like, oh, like this was we saw this coming or something like that. But I mean, I think the truth is, is that I think that probably, you know, when violence is involved and that's what it is, an assault, you know, sometimes the law just requires an employer's, you know, yeah, fire yeah, someone. I don't, like, I don't blame ABC no. Studios at all. And, you know, like they're liable like for like his actions, like they employ him, you know, like, you know, everyone thinks it's like CBS, like CBS airs the show, but ABC Studios produces the show, and right. they employ him. Right. So. so this isn't the first time that someone has left The show has minds, a right? lot of It shake has kind of a history of uh, yeah. departures. Some people left on so their take own. So take us through it. Take us through it. Um, well, I mean, the first one was actually um, Lola Glaudini. Um, right. She, she left on her own season two, and Paget Brewster came on after that. And 
The most infamous one until now was Mandy Patinkin, who just did not show up for the season three premiere table read. Right. And then he just negotiated out of his contract because, and he's talked about this since. I'm sure people have heard like his comments, like he just said, like Criminal Minds, like ruined him, like it was too violent or whatever. And I mean, this is a show that's like about serial murder, and it's like yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot. It's, no, it's you actually expecting. It's right, actually exactly, not yeah. as graphic as like. It, he makes it sound to be a lot of the stuff is like off camera. I mean, there is a, some gruesome stuff on yeah, it, but anyway, it's dark, but it's, it's dark, it's but it's still a broadcast show. Yeah, so. right, right. It, the 9 p.m. hour, so yeah. But anyway, like he, so he left um, after the second episode of season three, yeah. and the show has always taken a high road with him. Like they've always said really nice things about it, yeah. and they've tried to get him back, and he never came back, and they just killed off his character in season ten, um, off camera, of course, because yeah, yeah. he never came back. Right. And then um, in season six, CBS actually chose to drop AJ Cook and Paget Brewster, yeah. which was, I guess, the most recent like big shakeup. Um, they they've both since come back, and Paget has since left again because she just wanted to do other things once her contract was up. But right. there was a humongous fan backlash that that was six years ago, and they replaced them with Rachel Nichols, who was like like beta JJ. She was just another blonde, and right. it was like really weird because she was this like rookie, and like yeah. they put her on the team. Um, you know, nothing against her, but they wrote her out after they re-signed AJ. Yeah, and, and she wasn't really liked by the fans, right? No, like, it, I, don't th I don't think it's anything against her. It's just like, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Um, but the past couple years, like, they've had a, a lot of people leave. Like, Padgett left in season seven, and then Jean Triplehorn left, and then Jennifer Love Hewitt left. Right. And then Shamar left last year, and now it's Thomas. Right. So, but this is also the kind of show that can that can yeah, afford it, a little. Yeah, mix but up I, I think you know past, this right? is it's not like Thomas is choosing to leave on his own. You know. Right. Like but what do you so what do you think what do you legit you know think this means for the rest of the season? I mean, they they're just gonna have to I think you know change their whole plan because the other thing is like this season uh, well in the season eleven finale eleven or thirteen unsubs broke out of prison. So yeah, this yeah. was going to be like slightly more serialized this season of them right. like hatching and these It was, it was also going to reflect a lot on Hotch's history. Yeah, because one of them is Mr. Scratch. And yeah. Mr. Scratch... I love Mr. Scratch. <laughs> ...tortured um, Hotch um, yeah. in season 10. So And he's one of the unsubs on the booze. So there's going to be some there, backstory to that. So who knows? Maybe like Mr. Scratch will be the one to like kill Hotch or something. Mm. Maybe that's how they're going to end up writing him out. So we don't know. Like they have to change their whole plan now. All right, we have tons of questions about this. Let's go to some questions. Um, and let's see. Um, uh, why was Thomas Gibson fired after his suspension was seemingly complete? Like I said before, I think that the I suspension think it went was public, like yeah. to buy time, mm -hmm. and then it went public, and then they had to do something. Um, any possibility of Padgett Brewster returning full time since she's already coming back for more episodes? I think that, you know, the answer is. It's, it's possible, but I don't think she wants to come back as a yeah. regular. I think she's pretty happy just coming back, you know. It feels like she her. wants to be on a different kind of show. She loves right? comedies. Yeah. Like when she's she first. So good yeah, yeah at she's funny. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Like she was, she did Friends, Hop. Yeah. Um, okay, what is the future of the Mr. Scratch story? We just talked about that. Um, any plans to replace Thomas Gibson or will one of the current team members be promoted to unit chief? So we don't really know just yet. I think it's still too soon. But yeah. what do you what do you want to see happen? I I don't think they should replace him right away. I think yeah. that that void will be too big to fill right away. And they're already introducing a new character in Adam Rodriguez. Yeah. Um, you know, who's the new like Morgan or whatever. Right. So I think they need to uh, build up, um, you know, acceptance to Luke, his character first, and then deal with however they're going to write Hotch out. And I don't know, like maybe at some point they'll introduce someone else to replace him. But... Someone just asked if they thought that Shamar Moore might come back now. <laughs> I don't think I don't so. think that him leaving was entirely because of Thomas Gibson, No, right? I think he was, I honestly think he was, it was 11 years he was yeah. done, so. Uh, okay. Um, what is this upcoming season going to be about? You talked about it briefly, so it's, it's, what is it called again? It's called... It's not called anything, but, but it's about, um, it, they're just catching these unsubs that broke out at the end of season 11. And there's how many of them? There were 13. Yeah. Um, spoiler alert, they've already caught some of them over the break, so oh, but when it. we come back in the season 12 premiere, there's only going to be... It's not like one every episode. Yeah, there's it's like, not like that. Okay. 
Um, let's see, are we gonna see are we gonna see some of Will this season? Yes, Will will be back, um, JJ's husband. Yeah. Um, he's actually gonna be the the second episode um, is gonna be heavy on like JJ and there's gonna be a flashback with her and Will. Okay. Why is everyone saying that Thomas was directing when this occurred? He was directing when this occurred, right? Yes. During the first episode. I might not have the sequence <laughs> down pat, <laughs> but you do. He was directing the first episode when this happened. Yes. It, like, from everything I've been told of the timeline, it, it should be the first episode, and then they replaced him as director. And right. then he was suspended. And then he was suspended. And you were there during the second episode. The last day of episode two, yeah. Which he didn't appear in? He's in it. Like, that will be his final episode. <laughs> okay, just think. Anyway. Episode three, <laughs> magic comes, Hodge is gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. But I thought that he, wa he wasn't there, and that wasn't unusual because he wasn't in the episode. But it's, he it, was in the episode. He, I, I just didn't, I didn't talk to him at all that Got day because they okay. were backed up that day. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. This is the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Um, so what do you th what do you think? Do you think that this spells the end of Criminal Minds as no, we know it? No, I don't. It's no. just it's just a bummer. Like from a, like purely a fan perspective of the show, yeah. like yeah, it sucks to see like Hodge, the leader of the team, leave. However, he may leave. Yeah. yeah. Criminal yeah. Minds isn't like SVU, where like if Mariska Hargitay left, right. the show would fall apart. Right. It's really an ensemble, and they can easily like keep yeah. cycling through cast members. Got a lot of people that they're bringing. Yeah. Too. So I think that there's enough. Yeah. I mean, I think the bigger question is, is like if they would ever let him come back. Right. You know. I am kind of sad that they aren't at least letting him come back to like finish out his storyline. Right. Line. Yeah. That's kind of upsetting. You mean because of what they have planned for the season? No, just because it's really hard to say goodbye to a character that's yeah. been away so long and. I like get so frustrated when yeah. you don't get that like proper send off. Right. But I also understand like it must be really uncomfortable on set to work with someone yeah. who you never know necessarily if like they might have some sort of violent reaction. Right, right. That's um, it's hard. All right. So I mean we can look at other shows that have happened and see that they can go on. Cheers, for example, when Shelley Long left. That went on. I think that Colonel Mines is gonna be okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think that that's it for TV Guide Live today. Thanks, Joyce and Sadie, for being here. Um, and thank you all for joining us. We're here live every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Send your questions to us at TV Guide on Twitter, hashtag TVGLive, or on Facebook.com slash TV Guide. Have a great day. Thanks.